Welcome to Second Take, the show that focuses on the issues behind the news. Mexico hosted the latest United Nations Climate Change Summit in Cancun in December. Engineering News contributing editor Christy van Amerwe joins me now to reflect on the two-week meeting. Christy, welcome to Second Take. Thank you. Christy, the meeting ended with delegates delivering an agreement. What did the 193 nations agree on and how significant is a Cancun agreement? Well, that depends on who you speak to. Obviously, d different people have differing views on what this agreement actually means. Um, compared to the Copenhagen Accord, which we had from the previous um, conference of the parties in 2009, which was just pledges from some member states and was completely rejected by other member states, this Cancun agreement um, is formally incorporated into the UN process. So the agreements are documented. In substance, it's very similar to the Copenhagen Accord and um, all the things that were listed under those agreements are, are very similar to what we'll find in the Cancun agreements. Developed countries have once again agreed to reduce emissions and to monitor and verify that. Developing countries have also said that they will reduce emissions with financial and technical assistance from developed countries. Um, in 2009, there were also political agreements to raise funding, um, about 100 billion in finance till 2020 for developing nations, which don't have funds to deal with climate change themselves. And um, the countries have once again reiter reiterated this in the Cancun agreement. Um, they've also said that they'll raise 30 billion in fast start finance to give to these developing nations until 2012. We've also got the Cancun Adaptation Framework, which has been established to help developing countries with their adaptation projects as well. So there's no great detail in this agreement. There's nothing new really, and it's nothing legally binding. So basically, the countries have agreed to agree in future. Christy, how does the Cancun meeting compare with the one, the conference hosted by Denmark in 2009? Well, most people left that conference in Copenhagen feeling very let down by the process. People were saying we are being excluded from things. It was secrecy. The process was a disaster. Nobody came out of that conference particularly happy. So the Cancun conference was quite a favorable one. Um, our South African environmental minister, Edna Molewa, said that it was a much more transparent process and the Mexicans had a more trusting atmosphere, which is very much needed in these negotiations. Environment ministers will meet again at the end of the year in South Africa. What can we expect from the Durban meeting in December? It's almost now or never. There's a lot of pressure. Durban is a big one. Countries have to have some sort of legally binding agreement to take over from the Kyoto Protocol. Um, the first commitment period for the Kyoto Protocol ends in 2012. So we really need something for countries to adhere to and that needs to come out of Durban. So there's a lot of pressure on this conference just as there was in Copenhagen. So hopefully the South Africans will be able to do it differently and get some results. Christy, thank you very much and thanks for joining us on the show. That is the Second Take show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.